What up my ninjas? It is me, Larlar Gaming over here. Give me guys another discussion video. Today we will be talking about E3 2016, basically giving us well giving our predictions on literally anything in general at E3, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo, Ubisoft, etc. etc. What what we're expecting them to show off, what to reveal. And yeah, since E3 is literally a few days away, so yeah, I have a few special guests to discuss this with me, so why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Uh, Alright, uh, hi, my name is Jimmy. Uh, I've had like 5,000 different YouTube channels, uh, but my Twitter link will be in the description, so my current channel will be in that link, so yeah, be sure to follow that. <laughs> hi, uh, I don't even know yes. anymore. Uh, Jesse, I don't have a YouTube channel, but I'm a part of Impulse, so uh, if Marla in, in the description, like, you can follow the clan Impulse. <laughs> Yo, what's up? It's Dylan. You already know who I am. Let's go. Let's talk about E3. Yay! Yeah. Alright, so, you know, uh, if you guys have been following the channel for a bit, you know, you would be noticed, you would know that I always do these pre-E3 Nintendo Nintendo... Uh, Nintendo predictions discussions, but you see Nintendo they're just really underwhelming this E3 So we decided hey, why not? We're just gonna also talk about you know Sony Microsoft and what they what they what is rumored What is expected? You know all that so we're just gonna quickly talk about Nintendo real quick uh, How they how they said that their main focus is Zelda uh, but recently they said, oh, we're gonna talk, oh, we're also gonna talk about Sun and Moon, and we're gonna show off some of that and Pokemon Go at the Treehouse livestream, so I'm like, mm, well, okay, I, I guess, but, like, how I look at it is that, okay, well, when, when Nintendo announced that, I was a little disappointed, no digital event, like, last year or the past two years, but, you know, it is what it is, but, as long as you get to see some Zelda U gameplay... Hopefully, uh, that'll at least, you know, you know, come to my expectations, and hopefully it's it's good. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, there's yeah, no doubt I'm, that I'm really really phenomenal. But, like, lo I'm low-key, more hyped for the Sun and Moon news, just because of the Sun and Moon hype lately. Very low-key. Low key, low key. Uh, agree. Honestly. It, it, because, like, like, what, Sun and Moon, they, had, they recently had a trailer out. Showing off, you know, the new region, the new people it looks that you. Beautiful. Yeah, I like how it's. I like how it's more open world and all that. I like that. That one trailer in Japan and a few Pokemon in it, but nothing. Yeah. Oh really? So nothing. Too yeah, I confirmed. heard there was. I heard there was a. There was like a Japanese trailer that had a few different Pokemon in it that weren't the legendary starters. I don't think they had any names though. Mm. I don't, I don't think they were shown. I know there was one in trailers. one trailer. Or like you could see like I either think it like was a Koro, dog Koro. Or I'm not exactly creature. sure though. I saw it in, on Game Explains channel back. Yeah, but like yeah, it was like a dog slash like deer like looking Pokemon. It was really but, it was, yeah. it was early. Kind, we, kind of like a lily pup of the. All, like literally all we know about the game so far is the legendaries and the starter Pokemon. Those are the only Pokemon that we really pretty much know. So I'm like, huh. Well, oh, yeah, we have Magirna. is technically. Or Gen that. 7. I guess. Yeah. yeah it's. Uh. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I, because I because I feel like if we start talking about it like that, and we're just gonna go off topic. But like, all in all, Sun and Moon. It's still. It, it looks amazing. Zelda U. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it looks good. And I'm pretty sure everyone wants to know how that thing looks too. So, oh yeah, like them saying that this is gonna be an open world or at least more open world Zelda, like non, like not as linear as the past installments. That has me really excited, really like yeah. for the game. Yeah, I just like Hopefully it's a little like I I really do like open world. I really do. I just like to like take in everything. It's kind of my type of game. Yeah, and it gives you like options on like how you want to go about your journey. Yeah, and it's not right. linear, so. Right, you, you already know. It's like, I don't know. Right, you already like, of course, know you know that they're everything eventually, but you finding your own way to certain things is really... I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's really cool. 
What were you gonna say, Jesse? Oh, uh, that you already know that they're gonna talk about like sure Pokemon is there, but like going they're gonna talk about Zelda the most because oh, yeah. it's like ninety minutes. It's a ninety minute demo. So oh. okay. You see, I'm not gonna tune in. I I'm not gonna because I I mean I'm at school, so I can't really tune in. I can obviously tune in like certain parts, but like. You know, I, when I come home, hopefully I'm gonna be like, oh, so this is what happened. Oh, this is what was need, shown. You know. That reminds me, I need to ask off for the AP3 for work. I don't want to miss up. Actually, before we continue on, so since we're done with the topic of Nintendo, since that's literally all. <laughs> that's probably that's that's probably what's gonna be shown. Well, well, I I I want to point out one thing is that. Uh, they could also talk about, as we were saying before, like they could talk about games like Color Splash or Project Robot, because that's still a thing from E3 2014. That obviously Project Guard was part of Star Fox Zero, but there was no word of, of robot, so yeah. they could talk about that and Color Splash. Yeah. I also and J had yeah, an Jimmy idea about Color Splash, where they could just show gameplay. Um, I want to see more Amiibo. I have like 80 now. I need. Jeez! I have yeah. since last <laughs> month, and I only bought a review. They're probably- they're, I, I think they're probably gonna do Amiibos for, uh, Zelda. Yeah, probably. that's what I'd expect to see, if any. I mean, they did one for Twilight Star. Princess, so... Yeah, we know, uh, the Wolf- I think they're probably gonna show how the Wolf Link Amiibo works for Zelda, probably. Yeah, cause, um, from what I know, cause I- I, did, I still don't have Twilight Princess to do, or the Wolf Link to do, you know? But I've seen pictures of uh, the Wolf Link Amiibo and its packaging. Like it has its own packaging, the gold Mega Man, like a yeah. blank white packaging. It had like its own like yellow background and things like that, with just a, a generic Zelda logo and everything. So that could be like some uh, kind of, um, that could be like attempt like a some kind of packaging for like if there were to be a series of Zelda Amiibo, you kind of have a uh, you kind of have one out now. Yeah. And knowing the Tambo. Uh... The treehouse, how it works for these two, they're probably gonna match, like, probably play a few indie games most likely, like, like Mighty Number no. 9. Like, that, it's obviously coming this month, hopefully, but, like... The, and then, um, the day before it releases, oh, we can't, it's delayed again, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> like, okay. Is that how much has it been delayed now? Like... What, twice? It's been delayed a couple of times. I I, I can't even okay. say twice, but it's been delayed I, I a really couple like of times. I think it's I think it's been four times at this point, four or five. I could be wrong on that. Then again, do you remember how how many times Brawl was delayed? Ooh. <laughs> that was delayed. Oh yeah. Like yeah. for a while, for a while. See see see. But that, that's the thing they, they, they were yeah, putting in Sonic the last minute. This, this, this one, they're just like, they're, they still don't tell us why they're having problems with it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... Well, at least they're, at least they're trying oh. to, like, pause the game. I guess, yeah. Wait, polish, oh, yeah, the, polish like, which game? Mighty No. 9. That's oh, what right, we're right. talking about. Oh. If they're delaying it so many times, they're probably yeah. they're just trying to fix it up and make it better. You see, you know, you know, make it a better experience. You see, I hear that right, but like the recent trailer just. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I need, I didn't even watch the trailer. I oh, was, Jimmy, you should not don't watch it, I know, please. I didn't, I didn't say it. Yeah, just stop it. I've been almost talking about it, and I I haven't seen it yet. But don't. I heard it was just, like some. It was like one of those like '90s style commercials. With, like, yes. Pet, yes. Oh, like over enthusiastic guy like. Get ready. For yeah, 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 yeah. Something like that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. <laughs> well, let's what, just get off of this. <laughs> what, what thing? What thing? I want to point out is that you think they would talk about the mobile games for like Fire Emblem, um, Animal Crossing, oh, yeah, or like even mention, even even mention a brief summary about BNX like during like an interview or something. I don't know, man. <laughs> Nintendo's just. Uh... I, want, I want a major meets homo update where we could uh, have usernames like the Nintendo Network IDs. Maybe link it to that because. Oh, uh, system, yeah. sleep. Or actually make it make it better so my friends in school will actually d download the app and not be <clears throat> pussies. You know. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. They're just like they don't want to do it. PG. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. E so esports. Let's uh, let's go on and switch gears now. So let's talk about every other company now: Sony, Microsoft, everyone else. So I just, um, I just the NX. It's like Call of Duty and GTA. So to all <laughs> people, or, and actually as powerful as Xbox One PS4 because I w I want a, a system that's powerful as that. Just saying. Well, bo yeah, like before before we continue on, I just hope the NX is just more powerful than both of them. Just you know, just and has a wide variety of third party support. Like uh, yeah, like Nintendo just can't just like stay in the dark all the time. Yeah, because like, then they're not gonna, just... they're not gonna make any money. Yeah, like exactly. you know their first party games they sell really well, but they're lacking some third party support. Like and they're they online. Have... Oh my god, yeah. I can't even get describe. Yeah. yeah. For the lack online of online. Games this whole the only reason why I don't want to see like voice chat, I totally want to see voice chat. The only reason why I wouldn't, I don't want a little two-year-old scream in my ear while I'm playing like Smash Brothers or something. But you got Call of Duty for that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They just they just put the, just put Infinite Warfare, although no one's gonna buy it. <laughs> uh, put that against Battlefield and, One, know, and yeah, remember how that went. Anyways. <laughs> Really let's, let's, I don't even play Cosmic dislike it. <laughs> let's let's go on and just talk about some other Sony other like any other title really that's you know, since I usually do Nintendo stuff on my channel, I I was like, why not branch out a bit and let's just talk about some other games that, you know, interest I people. Uh I so like, you know, Sony having their Microsoft uh, I mean not having their conference, not Microsoft. Uh, let's talk about Microsoft a little bit later, but I think Sony has their conference, what, June 13th at like 9 p.m. whatever, Eastern? Something it's, like it's, that. It's kind of yeah. late. Yeah, yeah. So, so, Sony Sony is always last that day, like, they yeah. always go last. Yeah, I remember last year I was I was attempting to do a live stream of, like, my live reaction to it. It was very late at night. <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tune into that. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm going to tune into that. I think Microsoft is earlier that day. Uh, I don't know when exactly. I think that's in the morning, but I don't know. But, anyways, like with Sony and all that, there's been a lot of there's been a, there's been a couple rumors around. I've been seeing some stuff, and um, no, I do not play just Nintendo games. I obviously branch out to other other games. I've been playing a lot of PC games lately, but like, if I had money, I I would have bought a PS4 by now. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I would have been, I would have gotten a PS4 by now too. But like, yeah, money is, the, money is the problem. I want a PS4. I have an Xbox One, and my brother's the one that plays it, and, and I don't. And it's at my dad's, so I'm only there a few times, like once a week. So yeah, yeah. So, all, he, all he plays on that is FIFA. I'm not really into those games. So so like you know, not really what much do, on there. What 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 are we expecting to see from Sony, Microsoft, like? What what games or like what games do you guys want to see? I wrote down two joke uh, announcements. <laughs> two <Say> joke. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, have a PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale two. Oh, oh Jesus! No, I was gonna, I was gonna mention. Uh, no, that's gonna be so bad. <laughs> Here, listen to this one. The PS Vita XL. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> if they want. To lose more money, sure. Like, oh. right <laughs> no, no, but for real, um, one game that I would like hope to see over this year yeah. would be <laughs> South Park: The Fractured But Whole. Oh yeah, I put that. Down I too, love so. Stick of Truth so much. I heard a lot of. I heard. A, I heard a lot of good things about that game when I, when I was still live streaming, and I, I want I haven't gone back to it ever since. I, I need to go and do that because that game is awesome. You know, yeah, I love the Stick of Truth. So I really can't wait for the sequel, and I hope the show off. I'm pretty sure that the, the the stick of truth is on Steam. I was planning to get yeah, it, it is. but I was like, I don't know, man. I got it on sale <laughs> for like thirteen dollars. You no, know, it is like a surprisingly good like RPG game. Ah. <laughs> surprisingly good. Oh well. Yeah. All right, cool. Like there's there's some bugs here and there, there, but like for the most part, I I I had a really good experience with it. All right. I made it twice, actually. Yeah, I got like. I got a fifty dollar gift card last year. Bought like fifteen games. Oh jeez. One Jesus. of them was uh, <laughs> Stick of Truth. 
<laughs> and uh, I also got like Rayman Origins and other games. Oh yeah, guys, just played. just saying, you know, Steam sales coming up soon, guys. Better get stock up oh, on you some money. Right. I need to go out and buy a gift card because I had I I bought like four Steam games around Christmas and I I, I played like twenty minutes. And it's a Final Fantasy VII because I got that because no. I was announced for Smash. No I, I bought I, I bought a also, lot of games. I also bought my brother and I bought uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Four. Oh God! I, I, <laughs> I, I played I, I played it once and I, I haven't gone back to it. I paid like ten dollars for it or however much it was. It, it wasn't it's not really that much worth it, but I yeah. can't refund it now. <laughs> so, so like um. We saw we saw a couple pictures and stuff about Watch Dogs 2 being apparently accidentally revealed somewhere. I never even played the first one. Uh, not accidentally, because or was it was it intentional like, or what? Forty-eight hour. Yeah, it was released on the official Watch Dogs Twitter, if I do recall, uh -huh. yesterday, and it said like the big reveal would be in like forty-eight hours. So tomorrow. Yeah, but it's but that, but that, but that's just something like Ubisoft would talk about in their conference. Same, yeah. same with South Park. So. Yeah. yeah, they'll probably talk. Because because I'm on Steam right now, I see Watch Dogs on sale. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, it's like what twelve dollars. It's tw it's t yeah, it's twelve. Um, let's see what other you games. Know, let, let's see what other you know, games. Let's get this. Let's get this out of the way, like, Dylan, like, you, you know about the Easter egg, let's just talk about Crash already. Alright, alright, Crash, Crash, Crash. Yeah, so I, I'm just Crash saying, games. man. So There's so many the different games I've never played. If Crash isn't shown this year, then I'm gonna it's lose dead. quite a bit of People will riot, people will break their PS4s. Man. Yeah, people will riot. I, I feel like Crash Bandicoot would be, like, a really, really good holiday title for Sony. They don't they, fuck it up like the cartoon man. They, they've had plenty of time to work on one if they did somehow get back the rights and the rights, you know, somehow didn't leak. But, um, who who owns Crash? I forget. I forgot. Who owns them? Activision. Uh, Activision, Activision, right? Yeah. Activision owns Crash. They own Sorry, Crash. I don't, I don't they know. own Spyro. About yeah, Activision has done nothing with Crash for a long time. So, so why buy them? Just, just to say that you have that's, them? Like, that's what I'm thinking. And, uh, What's the point in that? If you guys recall, whenever I talked about the Crash Bandicoot cameo in Uncharted 4, oh, yeah. you actually got to play in the game. Yeah. I'm like, I kept thinking to myself, how did Naughty Dog manage to put this in the game? Like, if they, because apparently Activision wasn't mentioned in the credits. Oh, what? <laughs> then that uh, that makes no sense then. If you know, next well, thing I know, if, if Activision to has the that... rights to Crash, they're gonna prove every console. So. Like they do with Skylanders, and it tells nothing. Maybe, maybe <laughs> it's different because like they had Crash One, so like and Activision doesn't really like didn't really make it, so like see but, but like it, still. It, a... But considering that it is Activision's property, like according to sources right now, then they would have to mention them because Activision owns their rights to that series, and they can't use that without their permission, which is yeah, really that, interesting. That's that's strange. Oh, maybe man. Sony has been lying to us this whole time. Maybe they secretly the own Crash. Now I don't know for sure if Activision isn't mentioned in the credits or not, but that's what I. You know what I want? I want I want a Spyro reboot. It isn't Skylanders. How about that? <laughs> well, Activision also owns Spyro. Yeah, I know they own Spyro because he's in. Uh, he's in uh, Skylanders. We haven't so. seen a Sp we haven't had a Spyro game in a while, have we? Or no? No, I mean, not I counting so. the Skylanders. If you're counting Skylanders, then yeah, we had Superchargers. But so what about none? No, not Skylanders. So not in a while. Uh, I don't know. What was the last? Because I, I mean, I, I'm not very familiar with Spyro either. But I, I, I think I played like 20 minutes of Enter the Dragonfly once because my friend let me borrow it. But, and I have a. I have a Spyro Skylander <laughs> that I got at GameStop because I, I was buying Disney Infinity figures and it was like a buy two get three free so I just grabbed Spyro. So I just have it. I'm looking at it right now. On my table. Yeah, we, we haven't had a... We haven't had a uh, Crash game in a while. Almost uh, eight years. Yeah. It's just just yeah, drop it's Skylander. Bad, bad. And, if like, they, if, and I know... If, they, if Sony releases that around holiday season... That's gonna make them like big bucks. 
Yeah, yeah, especially because there's still a lot of people that love Crash Bandicoot. Like, like yeah. I'm not I'm not no, huge on exactly. that series exactly. either, series. but I know of it and I played some of it. Like I've never owned a PlayStation like, console, so I, I I haven't um. You're missing out, man. You're I know. I, out. Say, I trust me. I know. Yeah. I have a few friends that got PS4s, and I have a few friends that have PS3s, and. Yeah. I, I feel so left out to be honest. I'm like, <laughs> I have owned every I, single I, PlayStation. I dollars like, need to buy a enough. PS4. So I, and then I gotta get more money so I can buy a PS3 and get all those games as well, and eventually buy a PS2 and get PS1 and PS2 games. But, so but like, like, I know a lot of people still love Crash Bandicoot, and I feel <laughs> them. I feel like I, I want them to, I want people to get a Crash Bandicoot game. Because I feel like they deserve it. I I, the, the, I just yeah. How many years has it been since the last? The, one? the PS4 in general seems to be lacking like platformer games. Like which yeah, is odd. the Knack wasn't that great of a like platformer at all. Oh, I remember yeah, about the Knack. Knack was sure, they, sure, was they interesting. They have actually a Clank, but that's just one game. Like exactly. <laughs> but I just hope that I just hope that. People get what they want this E3. Honestly, I just hope that once Crash com once Crash gets announced, I'm gonna feel the hype for everyone else that oh. you know was super hyped about Crash yeah, being exactly. on PS4. Yeah, no, if that, like, that reveal trailer comes up, we see Naughty Dog sign and we see Crash Bandicoot on the screen in PS4 Glory HD, then I will. Like, yo, the internet's gonna off. explode. The internet is gonna I think, explode. I think, yeah. If they showed Crash this year, I think it would top last year's at E3. It doesn't Everyone. even matter if, like, Kingdom Hearts 3 gameplay trailer, if we see Crash, that's gonna be the highlight. Well, it's okay. yeah, the pop off we'll, would be we'll, almost we'll, as big as the last one. <laughs> we'll, 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 talk, we'll, we'll talk about Square Enix later. But yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll talk about, we'll talk about that a little right. later, but... Uh, I just that's hope that squared. if Crash Bandicoot does get announced, I hope that everyone is happy and i hope that you know i'm gonna feel the hype for everyone i'm not too huge on the crash bandicoot series or like playstation franchises in general but like they're still really good games and i and if it does get announced i'm gonna feel the hype and i and i'm probably gonna get interested too but i'm gonna feel it's the hype. time i get into crash bandicoot i just need to buy a ps4 first <laughs> That's why yeah, if you're watching and if you're a huge player. Crash Bandicoot fan, I hope it gets revealed when it when yeah, you might want when to it comes out. Yeah, I'll, I'll be proud for you guys. Yeah. Because I know how long you guys have been waiting. We get into it. And you guys, well, you guys like, do want one. Well, speaking of uh, speaking of long waits, we're getting the newest installment of of, of the Persona series very soon. There well. you go, Dylan. Just say it all. Just yeah, yeah, you you're, you're right, you're right. Go ahead. Continue uh, to educate I, us. Continue worse, to educate us. Worse, say it all, Dylan. Cannot express, words cannot express how excited I am for this game. Persona 3, one of my favorite games of all time. Persona 4, also one of my favorite games of all time. Both games are phenomenal. I love both of those games. And now we're getting Persona 5, February 14th of next year. Atlas is going to be showing it off at E3. Valent Probably going to get a bunch of Val information. Valentine's yeah, Day. Atlas, they have uh, <laughs> Fire and Ice. They're good. Supposedly. It's just yeah. Oh my god! I just can't wait for this game. Of all, all the trailers that we have uh, seen so far from the game, I, I've been extremely like hyped about. I'm just looking into all the details in the trailer and just taking it all in. And oh. now we're going to have Atlas show like pretty much show us everything there is going to be in the game. At least in the U.S. version, not everything, but you get what I'm trying to say. It's just going to be a really fun time seeing it at E3, and I can't wait. Oh man, I could just see the time Twitter timeline for Dylan. Oh my God! <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. It's a huge thing yeah, for I'm, me. I'm no, but I won't be surprised. I won't be surprised. And my phone's gonna blow up. Because if I'm if I'm not mistaken, uh, Persona 4 released back in 2008. No, I think. I'll probably be taking it. Has it really been there. that long? Ever since the last I'm year? pretty sure it's been that long. We've got a bunch of Persona 4 spinoffs since then. Uh, and, yeah, just a bunch of Persona 4 stuff in general. And then Persona 5 has been in development for a long time. Like, it got announced back in 2013. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure. It's slated for 2014 release. Delayed. 2015 release. Delayed. 2016 release. Now it's oh delayed my. to a definitive date in 2017. 2017. 
At least, at least this we got it. This is becoming a mighty number nine. February 14. Speaking of 2017, uh, ukulele is also. Yes. Yeah. I'm interested in that game. Well, I, I really am. I really well, am. I, I never I played a banjo game. Yet again, another franchise I've never touched. Uh, I, I just. I, just I, I don't. Even though Rare Replay is 30 bucks, I still haven't bought it. So. You know, with yeah, the trailer yeah. already out, I don't know if Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo would even like talk, talk about it. Like ukulele. I mean, at least it's coming to Wii U. You know, we'll have yeah. like we'll we'll technically have a a, a banjo yeah, game on Wii U. According to them, uh, they're focusing on the Wii U version the most. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, probably That's cause, interesting. Probably because Wii U is underpowered, so they want to... They're, like, they're focusing on both the Wii U and, 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 PC, and, and, and PC the most. They mm. want to make it great on the Wii U, and then do the same, and, and possibly improve a bit more on Xbox and PlayStation. That's very interesting. Let's see what I, I, saw the, I watched the trailer late I, last night. I already have another game I want to mention, but Dylan, were you done with Persona? They made uh, they yeah. they made fun yeah, of uh, just, yeah, banjos and banjo nuts and bolts, and that, I thought that was funny. What other games are coming to PS4? Uh, or like what what are we what are we expecting? Like, well, you said No Man's I'm Sky, good. Dylan. Uh, oh yeah, that's probably gonna be show. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's what see. do you do in that game? That's what, what do you actually you do in that game? just kind of explore, from what I've seen. <laughs> well, what do you do <laughs> uh, like, Speaking I... of uh, PS4, you guys have been hearing about the rumors that they could be announcing a new console? The new PS4? Oh, yeah. yes. Or like the new Xbox One? Oh. PS4 Slim. Xbox PS4 One Slim. Neo. I think the yeah, name was better, already PS4 and PS4. Neo. <laughs> Yeah, both both Sony and Microsoft PS4K. have rumors going around that hey, we're gonna we're gonna announce a new model for the PS4 and Xbox One. They they, uh, they did that. They did that for 360 and PS3. It just makes sense for them to do it. Yeah. Because I, I have the I have the slim for Xbox 360. Yeah, I do too. And I also have the original. I have I have the original because my mom's boyfriend gave me his original that he barely used, and uh, I got my slim Xbox One around when it came out actually. I'm just saying, if the price is right, I'm gonna like that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe I think PS... I'm gonna. I think if it's true, I'm probably gonna wait until that comes out to get this PS4. Uh, hey, maybe the PS4 Neo backwards compatibility, huh, Sony? Please. Yo, guys, we're totally gonna see Half Life Three this year. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Last 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 year we got Shenmue Three, we got Final Fantasy Seven remake, and we got The Last Guardian. Oh, no, yeah, Shenmue Three was, three was, was actually a very here. surprise I mean, to everyone. Now. Yeah, that was and that was a Kickstarter. Yeah, too. yeah Shenmue Three. I was like, really surprised. I was like, wait a second, really? Like, wow! Like, didn't it get done in like a day? Like, Honestly, I think it did. I think it did. Like probably like in a few hours. That was a Kickstarter. I remember. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think Sony's gonna want to. Sony's gonna want. We could actually get the Half Life Three because, like I, I just said, I don't know if you guys heard me. Leonardo DiCaprio um, won an Oscar this year, so 2016 could be a step in the right direction. Oh, that's could right. Get some, he didn't win an Oscar. So, some some jokes that, you know, that have been funny for years, but could actually end up happening. But I don't think yeah, Valve so has anything planned for the season. Do that. So next thing you know, Half Life Three actually happens. Nah, Dylan, don't say that. Crazy. Dylan, I've never played Half Life. I just, I, I don't, even, I, I didn't even know what Half Life was when I heard about Half Life Three. Not I being... really. Didn't, didn't last year they have like a PC gaming E3 conference? They did. Or something. I think they're having it again this year. I don't know when though. Oh, like Team Fortress well, Three. What they gonna talk about? Why? But like, but like, I mean, Dylan, Dylan, you, you can't say that. I want to see Left 4 Dead Three. Come on, man. Like, oh shit, on, you're man. right. You're right. I want to see Left 4 Dead 3. I've been hearing rumors. <laughs> I want to see Team Party Tea Party Simulator 2016. I love Left 4 Dead 2, man. I love Left 4 Dead 2. Tea Party Simulator. Uh, I think it was like last year, and I heard it was it was pretty weird. So let's see. I want to talk. I still need to play it. I I, I think I got a game, Willer. It's not like what. Like and this and this revolves around Sega. Minecraft too. <laughs> oh God, Sega. Yeah. What the you se know, what man. the Sega have well, up their sleeves? 
<laughs> what about oh, Sonic? Sonic. Besides Sonic's 25th anniversary. Yeah, the, the the 25th anniversary of Sonic, the Sonic game has Next not been Fire announced yet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure so, Sonic Boom Fire and Ice isn't going to be their big 25th anniversary game. No, 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 no. no Whenever they have that party, that Sonic, that party in, during San Diego, yeah. Con wait, when is that thing? Isn't that like during around, mm -hmm. July? I know that for sure. Isn't that like around San Diego Comic Con time? Yeah. I don't remember. I think I know. So bunch of sonic youtubers it, it's weird because like every year when it comes to like the sonic game like they I've always announce lost, kind of they it. always they uh, always show trailers like around may and then they show like gameplay off in the summer like in during e3 but now like they don't really have anything so like the <laughs> i think having a trailer like either in sony's conference or in microsoft's conference like like it like i would like to see that Wonder what what the Sonic game would actually be. I don't know. There's a people want. There's a so really people good people want Adventure Three. Yeah, I know, but like, oh, I don't, I don't know, man. But like, um, in general, I don't think there's, I, there's, I don't think there's a chance that they'll say anything about Sonic. But whenever they do have that party, that's when they'll announce it. That's when that's that's when they're gonna yeah. announce that. I mean, I, I, could they drop a I hint on would, the on I, his I birthday? Really Maybe though, because Sonic's been lacking. How many years now? I'm just gonna get that now. I have like a screenshot of some Neo Jeff Neo Gaff, uh, thread for regarding uh, Nintendo's marketing strategies throughout the year, but I'll save that for the very end. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. So um, uh, uh, let's talk about some. Uh, better. Be good. All right. All right. All right. Oh, uh, this 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 also this also doesn't really involve Sega anymore because they don't own it, but like. I think Sony would want to talk about Shenmue 3 again. Have we heard any news mm. ever since last year's E3 or no? I don't think oh, yeah, so. Uh, Besides like, smaller like, Kickstarter that, that was, if there was any. Yeah, like a Kickstarter for that? Yeah, yeah there it was. got funded yeah. within hours. Oh, wow. Sure. I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, I'm like... Not even. They, they would what, probably, what like, talk about... In that game? Because, I mean, the, I, I've never played Shenmue. It's like real. Zuki, or am I thinking of the wrong thing? I, uh, I don't know. I think that's it. I could be so wrong. No, but like, he's the guy in Sonic it's like the All-Stars racing with Forklift. Yeah. I don't know. Alright, so, so, uh, let's, yeah, uh... I mean, I don't yeah, know if... Square Enix time, Lalar? Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, before wait, wait, that... Wait, wait, Xbox. I... Oh. You see, with, with Microsoft, there's, there's really nothing going around except, like, Hey, we're we're probably gonna announce a new console about, too. How about, uh, uh, I mean, I mean, I heard the rest of the Sonic game because I have a bunch of Sonic games on Xbox and I want to bring them to my dad. So I mean, I heard about that, and then I heard about <laughs> Gears of War four. All they and then are the, uh, well, I I talked to them before we lose them. There there's been some speculation. I don't know if it's rumored or just speculation that they would probably talk about battle like. They would, Battlefield one. Battle that Battle 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 Battlefield yeah. one. Are you saying? Games stop. I don't know. <laughs> but like, uh, I don't know if you guys are. I I, I want to see the uh, console release on like games on Xbox One through backwards compatibility. I'm looking at my games. I have, have unleashed in generation. And all stars racing. But whatever, adventure. whatever Microsoft has in store, I hope I hope it's good too. I want them both Bad to do good. Joe three, Bad Joe. I even have O six, but I've never played it. <laughs> My friend gave it to me. Uh, let's see. Um, before I, I don't know if you guys are interested in Telltale's The Walking Dead. I, I don't know if you guys are, but oh, I, I, uh, I to, yeah, no, it's like it's so fine. Funny. But like, I when, when I heard Walking that Dead in general. When, when I heard that, oh, uh, the wa uh, Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 3, it's coming out in the fall. And I'm all like, oh, thank God. And then he's all like, oh, we're probably teasing something for E3. I'm like, oh, boy. I want a trailer. <laughs> so I've, I've, I've tried to get into the show. Like, everyone in my school is obsessed with the show. Uh, um, I'm another one. But, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I've tried to get into it, but they're just so far into the show that it would take me forever to catch up. I mean, yeah, it, it's like a cool concept, like a zombie apocalypse or whatever. 
but I just, I just, I don't think it, I could just get into it because it's it just so far into the show and everything. I, I feel like though I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little bit off topic here, but I feel like tell, like Telltale's version of The Walking Dead. There are some points be- where the game is better than the show. Honestly, does that have anything to do with the show? Because no, it does not. It does not. Oh, it's a completely different thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a completely different. Yeah, yeah. All right, then I could probably play the games. I just, I um, I just probably won't watch the show. Then. I don't know. All right. Um, uh, okay. So let's what go about, into ki- what about, what about? Uh, oh wait, what? What about Telltale's Batman? Oh, I heard that's premiering. Yeah, that's premiering. Oh, that's premiering at E3. Yeah, that is. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Oh, oh shit! Telltale's I, Batman. I, I, I watched. I, I played a bit of the Back to the Future Telltale. That was pretty fun. I bought that. Yeah. I, I haven't gotten to playing it though. I need. I I actually just I had it on the Wii and I just traded it into GameStop because I want to get it on my like, Xbox 360 or PC or something like that. Ah. All right. So uh, let's you talk about some. Uh... Really Hold on. Uh, 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 before we go to story dicks, I think we should just talk about EA briefly. Okay. Uh, you have because, anything? <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it's just gonna be spoiled. It's so, like they could also. They're probably gonna talk about Titanfall 2 by like. Uh, Star at least, least it's yeah, having its own thing. I'm pretty sure this will be the Star last War, E3 thing. <laughs> Star Wars piece. Battlefront 2. Oh, Battlefront. What about? I have the first Battlefront. I could have been of it. There's no, no, there's no new Assassin's Creed yet, right? So Ubisoft doesn't have really anything. Uh, I think Assassin's they Creed. Well, they have them, like every year. Oh, well, it's like it's just like FIFA and Madden and Call of Duty. Like there's now like yeah, yeah, but I think they, they, I think they said the the I don't think they, I, I really don't think with, they should run with the new yeah. Assassin's Creed because they keep making one and like they're, they're and like they don't really sell well. So yeah, honestly, like, I I've heard that they don't really do well because they, they I I feel like they're just rushed. Like they, I think they, I think they're trying to just release one every year, which they shouldn't do. They should just take their time and make a good game. That's that's how you should do it. I mean, like with Call of Duty, yeah, those are great games. They're just oversaturated. That's why I don't really like enjoy those. And plus, I'm not really a big fan of first-person shooters. But you know, I think you know, like Call of Duty's fine. Like they don't need to. They they. I mean, they don't really need to release one every year, but they just do, and they, they usually fine. But I mean, Assassin's Creed, it's a different story. Like, yeah, like, like just... what, what, what would, uh, what is, U- what is Ubisoft gonna show? I think South Park, uh, like, yeah, with South Dylan. Yeah, and then, South Park, uh, Watch Dogs 2, uh, um, this, my, this, just, Rayman. this is just my drink game, but I hope it is 3D Rayman. Rain Rain Rain. And then I'm not gonna, sur- I'm not gonna be surprised if Just Dance gets in there too, so. <laughs> That's oh, an obvious my... one. They, they release it's... one every year. It's the same thing. So that's another game that releases every year. See, the, that they could just do every year because all, all they have to do is just make new, just add in new I songs. I play Just Dance. Bam. It's they... not that, that fun. I mean, I played Dance Central and I liked it a lot better. You know, it's on Kinect. Of all things, exclusively. <laughs> Kinect. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I, let's, I, uh, I let's go on and uh, talk about some uh, Kingdom Hearts and uh, Final Fantasy, you know? You know, you know? Oh, um, Final Fantasy. See? I think. Well, what? Was it confirmed that for Kingdom Hearts Three that they would have Marvel's, uh, Marvel stuff in that game? Oh my god! They, they I don't Star know. Marvel I did not. S- they should have Marvel and Star Wars stuff in Hearts Three because that, 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 that would probably the one thing they would talk about. Yet another about. franchise I haven't. I know it's sad. Nah, guys, we need Frozen. Come on, guys. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. People are gonna be. Let's I not. Know, know, let's not. Know know what? What? They're gonna, you know what? They're gonna do it. They announced Big Hero 6, and I love Big Hero 6, so I'm cool with that. Or I like that, too. Um, I like that, too. And yeah, so I, maybe, I actually, maybe some Pixar. They should do Pixar. Probably just sell Bruh. it. To, um, Imagine. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was like, when I was like, that was like before it became extremely popular, but it ended up lasting, and I'm pretty sure people are still hyped over Frozen, although it's gonna be like three years old this year. I, I think instead of Frozen, they should do Pixar because Mad Toy Story, like the Incredibles. No. Oh, they haven't? Really? The no. Not oh wow. Okay, hard. I'm surprised That's they haven't done Incredibles yet. That's really surprising. In, in, in one of in one of the games, I think it was like the DS Kingdom Hearts game that I think they were, or was it the PSP? I don't remember. Like, 
But like, one of them was supposed to. They didn't. They one never of, put Pixar on camera. One of them was so, like there, there was a pretty like Toy Story. They were gonna have like a Toy Story thing, but like they took it out. But so there's cool like, say, like, but but there was like models of Buzz and Woody. So like, we don't know. Hmm. Like they tried. So the, so it's. So we know that they they try to do Pixar once, but like it just never works for some reason. Totally do it. It, it blows my mind that they haven't. Like you just tell me that because I've never played again. There would be a I know ton. I needed, I there would I needed there would be a ton that. of worlds though. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah there I, would be a ton I, of. I, I, them. I think people uh, just want to expand and like, like you know uh, it's like like do Pixar, do Marvel, do Star Wars, like stuff like just expand it. They should totally have a Star Wars world. That'd be, that'd be, I, I would, yeah. that would be crazy, that'd be honestly. Be that would be crazy. And then Sora fight fight against like Darth Vader. Yo, that's Halo crazy. Ren, something like that. That would be really cool. I would I would totally like like team up with Luke Skywalker. Or <laughs> oh <Rey>. boy. <laughs> and then a Marvel universe like fighting Ultron or Loki. That'd be. Really cool. Oh. oh. That would be oh my way God. better than Disney Infinity, although I really enjoyed yeah. it. Even though that was canceled, oh boy. <laughs> Rest in peace. Team, dude, dude, team dude, up. I, I was dedicated to Disney Infinity, and it broke my heart when they canceled it. I oh. spent so much money on that. Along with like, Amiibo. I, like, as soon as Amiibo like, came I, out, I stopped buying Infinity for the longest time. Amiibo was my main focus. Like, are they taking up, I, I, like, are they taking everything out of the store? Like, he, like even, like, the figurines? Like, they're taking them out of the store? Um, they're trying to, like, get everything out because, of course, they're, uh, since it's cancelled, they're not going to be selling anything anymore. It's not officially cancelled yet, but the last product that's going to be released is the Finding Dory stuff, which is the playset and the Nemo and Dory figures, which, which are mid-June. And then, at the end of June, they're stopping releasing, like, mer like you know, content for the game. Wow. Um, the servers will still be up until the end of the year, like for online stuff, but June is the last time uh, releasing content. That's that's what oh, I know. Wow. Oh, well. You know, like, we, uh... we, 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 were, we were promised Peter Pan, but we never got him. It sucks. <laughs> oh, dang. Rip. Uh, and when, uh, yeah, he, I, they I'm... announced him at D23, and then we never got him. I mean, guys, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm excited for some Final Fantasy. Uh, they oh. announced... They announced a, a remake for 12, apparently. I heard something about... Yeah, that happened. I'm like, wait. That happened. I'm like, what? <laughs> this is okay. Is it, is, Do we is, know is, when is 7 just... is coming out? Do we know that? Wait, what? Final, the remake for Final Fantasy 7? Uh, yeah. Mm, I don't think... I don't remember anything. And isn't Kingdom Hearts 3 not coming out until, like... 2018 I heard something. No, 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 they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna do the Kingdom Hearts trailer, and then at the end of the trailer, it will say, Develop. now in development. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have they shown anything? <laughs> no, they haven't, no, they haven't no, said no. anything about a release date. Oh, for Kingdom Hearts 3. Like, two years ago? Now no, Kingdom Hearts 3 yeah. was announced, like, three years ago. I think E3 2013. Uh, okay. I, I think it was yeah, then. Yeah, 2013. It was well, definitely 2013. Oh, and it's now t three years later, and we haven't got a single thing. That's crazy. Oh, I mean, we got a f uh, we got a few snippets got, of we, gameplay, know, but we, like that's it. We got we got tons of it now. We got uh, uh, six. I remember that. Oh, uh, super brief moment. I think Sony will talk about 2.8. And if we're talking well. about Kingdom Hearts in general, we got Keyblade in a Disney. Uh, okay. So the time that we're recording this is Keyblade. June 7th. Uh, th I, there's going to be a trailer for 2.8 on the 8th, June 8th. Yeah. So, can't wait to see that. Hopefully, they're going to be like, hey, Kingdom Hearts 3, it's going to be at that Sony conference, or whatever. You guys might want to tune in. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, uh, with Final Fantasy, going back to Final Fantasy, uh, 12 has a remake. Uh, like, they, they announced a remake out of nowhere, um, apparently. And then Final Fantasy VII Remake, that was out of nowhere, and I can't wait to see more of that. And then we got 15, which is coming out later this year. So, yeah. Hopefully for Kingdom Hearts, going back to Kingdom Hearts now, hopefully for 3 they have some sort of release date or whatever. 
or like like a release window or like at least say like 2017 or something because like wait, wait, wait till 2017 i'm calling you right now I'm go ahead right now <laughs> nah, winter if, if, 2000 winter 2017 nah, you ready here first. Yeah. as long as we get some sort of release window when we can expect it then i'm fine but i also kind of want a <laughs> gameplay trailer it's gonna suck if they're all like hey we, we still have kingdom hearts 3 in development we can't show you any new footage the, though <laughs> but the, the only the, the only places we know is like big hero 6 tangled and what else I think that's it. So far. Oh, uh, just still solar? So far, I think those are the only worlds. So far, I think. I don't know. They're probably, they're probably yeah. gonna show three. If I, if I, if I can predict, it's gonna be one, one from Pixar, probably. One from Marvel and then Star Wars. Nah, they have to show three. They have to show three at E3. They have to. They, they, they have to. They will. They've done it last year. I don't see why they shouldn't this year either. I don't know how or like what they're gonna show, but you know it's just. But, and, you know, uh, and talking about Final Fantasy VII, I think they're gonna be, uh, talk about it again. Like, like how like there's gonna be like how many like like yeah, how many versions of Seven are gonna be like because like how many versions of Seven are gonna be like. Like, well, there's not like it's not a matter of how many versions of seven it's gonna be. It's just about how many episodes it's gonna be. Yeah, yeah, gonna that's, be... That, that's what I meant. Episodes, episode. Yeah. It's probably well. I'm a little worried about that, but they've gone on record saying multiple times that each uh, episode or or whatever is gonna be complete, like a full game, and just like feel like a full game. So there's a little bit of hope there, but it would, like, it would depend how much how many okay. Like, Depending on how many episodes there are, which I'm hope, which I'm hoping that maybe, or not necessarily hoping, but uh, just my prediction is there's there's probably going to be as many episodes as there are like discs for the original PS1 version. Mm -hmm. I ju I just wonder like how many, uh, like is how much is every version going to cost? Like you have to pay forty bucks for every game because they could they yeah, consider every episode I'm a, hoping, full, a full game. Yeah, I'm hoping it's not going to be six dollars per episode that would be way like too much but if it's as full as content as they say it is maybe but i really don't see that being on life i think i i, I think it should just be 10 bucks per per, per episode i mean because like that's depending on how many episodes there are though i don't think they'll go do 10 bucks for each episode though that's a little that's stepping a little bit but um yeah this, this is, is gonna come this, down this to is where you guys were talking about I know, but no, that's no, that's why they're gonna overprice everything. That's why. They, that's what I was saying. Like, wait, this is Square Enix. They they love money, so. Hmm. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well of course, yeah. everyone loves money. Yeah, everybody. They, that's all co companies ever like worry about. Except for Nintendo, they have tons of shit in the vault. But uh, <laughs> honestly, honestly. There, there was an article. Oh, wow. There was an article. It's like Nintendo could last until like 2073 with all the money in there in the bank. I think it was. I think it was like 2052 or something. Something like that, and that's not like counting a lot of the, the other like assets that they had. But that was before the Amiibo tree for the thing. So yeah, that got them a lot of money too. But yeah, the main. Okay, but back to the main point. The main point I was trying to say is that uh, if it's good, if they're gonna overcharge for each episode. Then I'm honestly, I'm on, I honestly just might skip out on it until they inevitably release like a complete collection uh, game for like e that includes each episode. But that's just me. Mm. All right, so guys. Are we done with that? Uh, are we done with Square Enix? Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you guys want to add on before we uh, wrap it all up here? Uh, uh, I'm guessing uh, we'll wait, probably uh, see some Injustice 2 at E3. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Injustice 2, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got leaked. Wait, Maybe a new uh, Scribble Knots from Warner Bros. Well, what about Just Cause 3? Oh. Well, that already released, but... Oh. <laughs> well, before <laughs> Dylan oh. touched oh. on that... Oops. that it's... <laughs> Lego <laughs> City Undercover 2 for NX. <laughs> Too bad there's no NX news. That was, a, that was actually that was actually a good well, game. 
before Taylor talks about the the whole Nintendo thing that he was gonna say, like, uh, there's also two other. Oh, yeah. There's also Nako Na- Na- and Capcom. Do you guys think we would see something for both those two companies? Maybe a new Mega Man game or something. Yeah, <laughs> 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 a new Mega Man game. <laughs> Maybe one to, to go along with the cartoon, but probably not. For- okay. Um. Oh, it's not dark. Yeah, uh, but um, I'm I'm thinking they might announce like some licensed Disney games because now that Disney is out of making games for themselves. Since they, like what they used to do back in the day was they you know give a bunch of companies you know the licensing to make games like you know they they actually did it right and they got these like great companies you know Capcom made Aladdin. Oh, I, I've yeah, seen this. Don't about uh, you were just Anyways, yeah, I think if they want to, if they want to give licensing to companies, they better give it to good companies and not, you know, make shitty games. You know? <laughs> You're right. But, uh, good. You no. guys, like, if you can see in the chat, I put it. It was a NeoGAF thread um, from some verified source in Nintendo. There's, there's like marketing like strategy for the year and like of those like the interesting points is that uh apparently there's gonna be a 34.5 million marketing budget for 2016 total and zelda wii u has 10 million of that going into oh, it man. To funding holy shit with with funding possibly being switched to, Ze- to the nx version of zelda depending on the launch timing in 2016 oh wow See, this one, like, because everything on this list was, was right, so we could say that Nintendo originally had the edX at this, uh, at winter 2016, but then, like they said, they saw the need of more launch games, so that's why they pushed it to 2017. Yeah, and then, the also, the other key points is the different, like, codename titles, um, in the game, like, in that list of releases, most notably, uh, this codename Caviar F, which is a spring to early summer release, all ages, smaller budget game. Which I, that may have already been released, uh, but I we don't know. Assume, we, we could assume that's the uh, eShop game or anything. Maybe, yeah. And then we have Codename Torte, Tort, whatever city for a summer release, a big budget, get a big budget unannounced game for all gamers, core slash all ages. Then we. have have also for some release a code name code name Cadillac all ages smaller budget game late summer and then yeah, most the notably like a sequel to Tomodachi Life. the most interesting stuff is during the fall and holiday season a th- apparently there's going to be a 3ds hardware price cut there's a- and there's also going to be code name in stars a big budget game for all ages if I you see I, I was talking about this week. Like, I'm like, thinking in like, stars might I, be for Nintendo stars, maybe. I don't know. No, I, I I think N stars would be a game where you can use any amiibo, and this is like a, a big budget. Like it could be like an RPG or something. Like that's what I think. And like, be, and you can use every single amiibo in this game. Uh, oh man, I see all this. Hmm. Uh, and, and, and this list is already right because, like, it's like it said, Federation Force is coming like this month. That they were right about that. That's early summer. They were right about uh, Pokemon. The Pokemon game called Niji, which is April. And back then, in the sudden moon, when when it was they went the sudden moon, the website link it said Niji, and they yeah. and Game Freak took it out. And so, they, they took out Niji. Yeah, but that yeah, even though that's just a code name, we're not seeing Pokemon Rainbow, but that does confirm that yeah. like this yeah. is like at least somewhat accurate with like all of this information. I want so I we want have reason to believe you could only, see although it's probably not happening. That one guy. So like with that with that being said, we could see some unannounced games announced at E three during the Nintendo Treehouse. Well, yeah. we, that I'm is, sure if happen. it happens, <laughs> that is, happens, if it happens. There is still a possibility. There is still a possibility. New, want new. And if we do see anything, I'm hoping we see whatever codename Instars is, because that seems like, from the codename at least, that could be pretty big for Nintendo. If it's true. Maybe like, 
If N stands for Nintendo, which I think it might mean. Nintendo. Wait. In Next thing you know, it's some kind of sports game with a bunch of Nintendo characters. <laughs> Dylan, I, I forgot. Is this the same guy? Like, I don't know it's not in this, but didn't he say also that Final Fantasy VII would be an NX? I am not sure. That was, that was, that's an idea. Probably won't happen, but who knows? I don't know. I mean, if they, if Sakurai was able to somehow cloud Smash Brothers and Final Fantasy VII was never on a Nintendo system, and he was, and Cloud was like in like a, a spin-off Kingdom Hearts game for like the DS or some GBA, I'm not even sure, but, um, you know, I, I'm, they might have something up their sleeve, who knows. Maybe. Mm, maybe. Maybe All right. they could, Tyler, I maybe think they could like bring them, Final Fantasy back to Nintendo, starting with the remake. Alright guys. You know, have, uh, have them on both Nintendo and Sony. You guys have anything else before we wrap it up? No? I think that's fine. That's it, right? right we, we've been here for almost an hour. Wow. Damn. Yeah. Pretty good and pretty nice. I mean, then again, all of our other discussions were literally almost an hour. Uh, literally an hour, so. Yeah. So, uh, guys, thank you all for wa uh, for listening in on our discussion video today. Discussing our predictions for E3, what we could expect, what we want to see, and what we, you know, what we hope to see. So, uh, hopefully, guys, whatever you guys want at E3 2016, hopefully it comes true. Hopefully, you guys get a Crash Bandicoot game. I hope I get a, I hope I get a Walking Dead season three trailer. I hope there's more Kingdom Hearts I'm stuff. Me, though. I just hope there's a lot of things that people will get excited for this E3. So, yeah. Yes, even Nintendo. That's even though they are all said, "Oh, Zelda's a thing," but I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. But even, even then, they lied. It said, "Oh wait, wait, we're also gonna have Pokemon." Well, I mean, technically, they didn't lie, but well, they, just, well, they, they just never said anything. They they said their main focus is gonna be Zelda Wii U. So that was everybody the only game. They said it was the only game that was gonna be playable. Yeah, I even pointed that out as soon as they like said that. And yeah, like, everyone was freaking out. Like, oh! Yeah, everybody jumped the gun. E3's ruined, like, in, like of course, <laughs> have a digital event. But, you know, at the same time, it's not completely ruined because they're still gonna have, you and know... still gonna the, talk about other stuff. Maybe not as much stuff as last year, or the mm -hmm. year before, but... Well, they, uh, they stuff about. well I mean... I, honestly, I wish they would they would have like some kind of crazy event like they've had like with the invitation on the inches. But it's kind of late at this point. Well, I know, they, they probably would have announced something by now. Well, last year I just like didn't they say that they would have the Nintendo World Championship like again this year? Well, like, I have wasn't no that idea. A plan? No, I don't remember. I don't remember. And then Not Reggie, and then Reggie on the treehouse be like, "Hey guys." So the NX is a console. Thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all you got. You're gonna get, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like, yep, it's confirmed. It's, yep. it's confirmed now, guys. It's a console. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, so just me or, or am I? Alice just waiting for that Nintendo Direct on the ball just to talk about the NX Brawl and HD. other games. For all HD support. Nah, uh, mainly HD. Yeah, everyone's like Melee Smash HD. Brothers related announcement. Everyone's getting hyped. Melee HD all of a sudden. <laughs> all, all, of a, all of a sudden, Taboo shows up the button on the screen. They're like, no! <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy. Damn you, Sakura. <laughs> Alright, guys. So uh, that fun. is it for this discussion, guys. Thank you all for listening in. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to us, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs> Bye. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, Alright, later, guys. I'm not actually.